All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take an abstract shape, a PNG image, and you can actually apply it as like a clipping mask. And yes, that is my son and I, the original and the remix. I've been doing custom tutorials for a while now. He'll be five in December of this year, and when I first started, he was only a few months old. But anyway, what you see down here at the bottom is the same image with this abstract shape, or it's really just a paintbrush thing I created in Affinity Designer. But when you apply the correct filter to it, you can actually clip that abstract shape to an image behind it. I have several of these. So we have this paint stroke here, and then we have this call out abstract shape. Notice what you see down here is the white image, but we can actually clip the image behind it. I have another sample right here, an ink splash of some sort. And what I want you to notice down here is that I'm using a white image to do this. But we can also use black images as well, but let me show you one quick thing that we have to do. If I go over to the right, now these are black images. The same ones, except now they're black instead of white. And what we have to do is invert this. And if I press this button here, we have pretty much the same thing going on. But really there's a black abstract shape. It's a PNG image. And if it is black, you want to invert it to clip that image behind it. And here's another black image here. It was that same white one you saw earlier, except it's black. And since I had this inverted, it will work just fine. And the same applies to this B3, this black image here. You can do this with anything you want as long as it's white or black. And if you use a black image, you'll have to invert it and apply the correct filter to get this to work in custom. Now, if I go back to this white one here, I'll have to take away that invert so I can just press this button right here. Now you can pick up this component as a sample from my free components folder. It has all three of those white images as all three of those black images. But before I dive into the tutorial, let's go to the background of this preset and I'm going to set this to something bright, like a yellow. And I really like this paint stroke piece right here because if I save this and apply it to the home screen, what I want you to notice is that this paint stroke, we can see some of that yellow background bleeding through the image. Now I created these abstract shapes in Affinity Designer and I want to show you how that yellow is bleeding through in custom. I'm going to show this W1 which is that same paint stroke and you can see that we actually have some lighter white areas in there and that's going to allow the yellow background or whatever your background is of your preset to bleed through and wherever you see really white spots that's going to allow the image that you're clipping to show through. And I've always heard this saying before in the past with graphic design, white reveals, black conceals. So the white is going to reveal the image you're clipping and the darker grays are going to conceal that image you're clipping, but it'll allow the background of your preset to bleed through. Pretty cool. And as a matter of fact, I can kind of show you that right here as well. I can uh, clip that image and you can see the actual transparent background bleeding through. And these spots where we see that are where we had the gray, let me show you this, the grayer, the darker areas. That's what's going to allow your background of your preset to bleed through. And again, the white areas will reveal the image you're clipping. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna set that background back to something dark, just to be easier on the eyes. And what you'll notice inside of the advanced editor, we don't see that clipping going on. But again, just to show you, it is still there. So just bear that in mind that you won't see it in the advanced editor, but it will work on your custom live wallpaper. So let's go into that component abstract clips. I have a stack group with some stuff set up, but the main thing I want to show you here is how do you get this to work? So I have an overlap group and you can look at these other overlap groups if you want, but those are the buttons. And then this other overlap group here is this one at the bottom. That's just showing what the abstract shape is with the uh, image in the background. Now those aren't really important, but this first overlap group has any image you want, and then we have an abstract shape. And I tell you what, since we can pick any image we want, I'm going to go over to that shape for the FX for this bitmap. Instead of me picking an image, let's apply the music cover. I've been jamming out to Panic at the Disco lately because I'm somewhat of a Beat Saber junkie and they're getting ready to release a Panic at the Disco pack for Beat Saber. So pretty stoked about that. But anyway, let's save that and apply it. And as you can see, we still have that same clipping going on with all of these images. And then when we hit these black ones, let's invert it and it still works just fine. But I'm gonna come back to that original image I had. And again, it can be any image you want. Let's go back to that overlap group with the abstract shape. This is the same shape as whatever we have here. That way it kind of fits uniformly, but you don't necessarily have to do that. But for that square, for the FX, 
we pick whatever bitmap we want. PNG image now, black or white. If you are picking a white image, your filter can be set to none. Now, if you were to pick a black image, what you'd want to do is you'd want to come to your filter and set it to invert. Keep that in mind. I have a code applied inside of this component where I can cut that on and off. But again, if you have a black image, set it to invert. If you have a white image, set it to none. And again, pick up this component just to dabble around with that a little bit more. But something else that's very important about this abstract shape, this PNG image. For the paint, for that shape, set the filter to multiply. That filter is what's going to allow custom to take this abstract PNG image and clip the image beneath it. That's all you got to do. So I know you waited quite a few minutes just to get that little bit of information. Black or white image. If it's white, set the filter to none. If it's black, set the filter to invert. And then for the paint, for that abstract shape, set it to multiply. And then just make sure you have it layered correctly where the abstract shape is going to appear in front of the image and you're good to go. And there you have it. Any black or white image, you can apply that as an abstract clip inside of custom. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.